Howdy folks, uh, Mr. Tesalonian back here again, and I wanted to show you guys how to make uh, your own thermoelectric generators here, uh, otherwise known as TEG devices. This is based on a principle uh, founded in the 1800s called the Seebeck effect. It's generated by two dissimilar conductors, uh, in junction being heated and cooled. So what I have here is I've got copper wire, stainless, copper wire, stainless, copper wire, stainless, and all the way around. Each one of these junctions, a V basically is what you're looking at, of copper and stainless is one thermoelectric generator. Now as I have them going around like this, what I've done is put a bunch of thermoelectric generators in series. So I can kind of increase the current I'm going to create here, all the way back to a stainless steel wire hooked to the negative and a copper wire hooked to the positive. So what I'm going to do for you here is I'm going to light the candle, and then I'm going to put that underneath those center junctions, and we're going to show you the power that it's going to produce. It'll take a second for it to heat up, but once it does, you'll start seeing current on the meter being registered. So I'm going to sit here for a second and just kind of explain how I put that together. What these are is just normal copper uh, house wire and stainless steel wire, and I've kind of rasped the ends of them up where I twisted them together and smashed them. So already on the meter there, you just saw it jump up to point 0.1. It's going to slowly creep up until it hits a peak, and then because I'm not cooling the outsides, it'll start to drop back down in current. Uh, so when it hits its peak, I'll start fanning a couple of these tips out here at the edges, right here, with my hand. I'll just be fanning it, like so, and you'll see the current increase a lot faster all of a sudden. So let's just let that creep up a bit. Now you're at uh, half a millivolt, which is not a lot of current, obviously. But as this grows, it should get to about 1, 1 1.1 millivolt. And then I'll fan that, and we should be able to jump it up to at least 2 millivolts uh, if, if everything works right. And then I'll flip it over to uh, milliamps and show you the milliamp. Oh, we're already cooling down a little bit here. So it didn't even jump up enough for me to see the 1 millivolt. So I'm going to start fanning it. You can see I'm going to back up here, and you can see my hand just sitting your hand fanning. And already we're over 1 millivolt. So I'm going to sit here and without putting out the candle, hopefully, or bumping this thing. Give me a second here, folks. And I'm going to start fanning this and see if we can't really get that current to jump up for us. Okay, we've hit 1.5. Let's see if I can get it any better. No, 1.6. See, what I'm doing here is as I'm fanning, I'm also blowing the candle around, so it's not heating the centers as effectively. But you can see with my hand action here, there we go. We finally jumped to the 2 millivolts. And I'm going to stop fanning, and you're going to watch that immediately start dropping back down again. So there we go. Now I'm going to fan again, and you'll see that immediately start rising right back up again in voltage. And see, what you're witnessing here is the Seebeck effect. And when you heat and cool each side of two dissimilar conductors, you create electricity. So real quick here, I'm going to flip this over to millivolts. And we're going to see what it says. Well, 0.4... All right, so hold on, let me fan it for a second and see if we can't jump that millivoltage up a little bit. Or milliamperage, I'm sorry. Um, it's starting to get pretty warm, so I'm not really going to be too effective with this unless I was cooling all the fins. Well, anyways, I'm going to stop, and you're going to watch that drop pretty quick there. <clears throat> there it goes. So there you go. There's a brief demonstration on how to build electricity just through hot and cold. Uh, now you could use any large, small, doesn't matter, you copper pipe and aluminum pipe connected together in the same V design. Uh, you'll get much more amperage because of Ohm's law. Your, your current will be higher. So you can use these, make a, a doily of these going on the outside. Let's say these were uh, all your little center junctions here getting heated. We're poking inside of a, a wood stove pipe. And your outside, we're on the outside of getting cold air on the outside of the house. You could have a whole series of these going down the wood stove pipe and generating power for you, made on your own. So I hope you enjoyed. and.